G'day guys, it's Dom here from Online Auto Parts. And today we're gonna to be talking about brake pads, the different makeups and kinds that there are out there, as well as a few things that you should know when it comes to selecting pads for your vehicle. Starting us off, we have organic brake pads. Now, I know you're thinking, organic, that's a bit odd. What do you mean by that? So organic brake pads are usually made up of organic compounds. Now I'm not talking wheat or barley or freaking rhubarb. Instead, these are things like rubber, Kevlar, fiberglass that are also mixed with a resin and adhered to the backing plate. Uh, as you can see on the back of these pads, there is of course the noise suppressant shim. Most pads should come with these just as an extra measure to help reduce vibrational noise that you can get through your brakes. Now you'll find organic pads are mostly included on most new vehicles. Of course, there's gonna be a few manufacturers with different manufacturing standards, but for the normal majority, there is organic pads used from the factory. Now, organic pads being made of primarily organic compounds, things like rubber and Kevlar, tend to be on the softer end, and organic pads are gonna be the softer pads that you can find. Now, what does it mean when they're soft? Well, soft pretty much means that they're going to be doing less wear to the brake rotor itself. However, in turn, they're gonna be wearing themselves down more themselves being the pads, just because they are that softer material. You can also find that there will be a little bit more dust with organic pads just due to the makeup, but of course, that depends on the manufacturer. Organic pads are fine when it comes to daily driving, but if you're doing any extensive towing or anything near a track, really, they don't particularly play well with heat. You'll find that these pads do tend to glaze up and they do tend to uh, fade at higher temperatures, uh, which is obviously not ideal. So organic pads are fine when it comes to daily driving, but of course, if you're doing some serious towing or any form of real tough driving, they can fade out quite quickly and that can lead to the dreaded brake fade, which of course is very dangerous. So that brings us up next to our second contender, which is semi-metallic pads. So semi-metallic brake pads, as the name suggests, are made up of primarily semi-metallic alloys. So this can be things like steel, iron, copper, anywhere from 30 to 70%. Now, depending on where it sits on that range is sort of what kind of pad the pad is oriented for in terms of use. So sort of on your higher end, you're looking at more race pads designed to be used on track cars and race cars and such. And then at the lower end, you've got more of your everyday driving sort of standard replacement pads. Now, the advantages to using semi-metallic pads, especially at that upper end, is for race use, they are great at dealing with heat. That is, of course, because they are primarily a metallic compound and they don't mind working with that bit of extra heat. Works well for them. On the other end, of course, despite the fact that they have less metallic, they are still better than some alternatives like the organic pads we mentioned before. Now, the issues with these semi-metallic pads usually comes in with the noise. They are known especially, and again, if you're on that racing end of things and that higher end end with the higher content, um, especially race pads designed for track use, they are noisy. They are going to produce a decent amount of squealing. They can be some grinding. Depends on the temperatures. If it's the first start in the morning, yes, you can expect that squeal, but especially if on the upper end, it can happen after only a little bit of cooling down, or if you're coming off an off-ramp off a motorway, breaks about time to cool, slowing down, you can hear them again. That's just due to the nature of the pads themselves, but it is something to be aware of. In terms of dust, semi-metallics can be either okay, or they can be really bad. Regardless of the type of pad that you have, there is going to be some dust. Just some pads are dustier than others. So keep that in mind. So moving on from semi-metallic and organic pads, you have, of course, Ceramic pads. Now, ceramic pads are made up of something a little bit different than what you and I are probably used to. Not the standard ceramic that you make, you know, plant pots out of and stuff. No, this is instead ceramic fibers that are mixed with a few different fillers and modifiers that overall just help change the characteristics of the pads. Fillers and modifiers are also used in organic pads and semi-metallic pads. Like I said, depending on the content of alloys in those pads, it'll also change what kind of fillers and modifiers are used for them just to change the characteristics of how the pad wears and also how the pad breaks. It can affect things like initial bite as well as the pedal feel throughout the heat range. Of course, like I said, for those race pads that are the so metallics, loud, squealy boys, they are gonna have a much better response at higher heat. They're probably gonna have a better bite at a higher heat compared to lower end pads or more pads oriented for daily driving where they're gonna have a better cold bite 
etc. In terms of heat performance, these pads come in right in the dead center. They are better than organic pads, definitely, but they are not quite gonna match the semi-metallic in terms of pure raw heat performance, but they do provide a great pedal feel and they do have a good wear characteristic. They don't wear too much into the rotor compared to semi-metallic pads, which will chew rotors. They are known for it, but of course, you're only gonna go for them if you really know that you need that extra stopping power. Of course, there are a list of other things that contribute to how your brakes work, such as your calipers. Are you using a single piston? Are they a twin piston? Are they a sliding caliper or are they a fixed caliper? You know, if you've got quad pistons, you're gonna be a bit better stopping power than a twin or a single. Also depends on the size, also depends what kind of brake fluid you're using. If you're going for that racing spec, you're gonna to wanna to use a brake fluid that boils at a higher temperature. But of course, if you're just daily driving, you're gonna want the brakes to respond at cold temperatures. You're gonna want them to feel good throughout your normal daily driving route. And of course, you're gonna want them to be able to deal with you know highway driving, just regular driving conditions, essentially. So it's for that reason that we recommend going with ceramic pads for daily driving, just because they provide the best combo between all the other pads. They're pretty much a dead center between the lot. They provide a good pedal feel, they're good for daily driving. They can handle more heat than your stock OEM pads. Of course, if you're looking for a part for your car or 4x4, why not jump on onlineautoparts.com.au. Enter your vehicle details with our match fit guarantee and you'll be able to select from a wide range of parts to suit your vehicle. If you've got a question, can't quite find the part you're looking for, jump online and get in contact with us. Our sales team will be happy to help you find the right part for the right price. So of course, if you're looking for a part for your car or 4x4, jump on onlineautoparts.com.au.